hospice is just a sacred time in life. It is helping people at end of life. Being able to be a part of that journey for them and with them is, is truly a privilege for the staff as well as the volunteers. I, I never really paid any attention to hospice until my husband went in. And when I saw what they were doing to make things easier for him, the nurses are so wonderful and the aides are so wonderful. I'd like to be able to give back. And it took 11 years, but I hope I'm giving back now. I'm in Pet Pals with my dog. We go visit hospitals, nursing home with, homes with our animals, and the coordinator contacted Pet Pals wanting somebody with a pet to join. They, if they've had dogs, they can bring back memories and they'll talk to me about their dogs, their cats, any kind of pets. And sometimes just petting an animal will do wonders for somebody. And I think just about anybody could do that could do hospice volunteering. All it takes is caring for another individual, caring about their emotions, and wanting to reach out to them in their last days. We want volunteers. We want a wide variety of volunteers, so I'm always anxious to talk to people. I love answering questions about it. If that conversation comes to say, you know, this isn't for me, that's okay too. Um, but to have that conversation and learn a little bit about it. It would be great if everyone could go to the volunteer classes because if they are afraid of what a hospice volunteer is all about, they might get, a, they would get a lot of their questions answered. You just go and they cover different areas and show you what's involved. Uh, it's not difficult at all. We um, have different opportunities. We have people that are interested in going to our care facilities and they might be sitting there sitting with a patient, maybe they're writing letters or or reading to them. In Fort Dodge, every spring, we have a, a hospice ball, and uh, it's probably one of the best attended balls. Uh, I think last year we were over 500 people. And of course, it takes a, a lot of volunteers to put that together. And uh, so we, this would be another area that you, a person could assist. There are a lot of other things too. Occasionally I need somebody to, you know, weed a garden um, and to know that we've got people that are willing to do those kind of service things for patients too is important. If it's a case that you feel comfortable going into somebody's home and just sitting with them, talking to them or whatever, you know, so there's different niches, different levels that you can be involved in. I've got a young lady now that's only 20 years old that has this amazing heart for hospice and what she's gone through with her grandparents, she's teaching me things. And so it's not so much about who the person is or what their experience is as much as what their heart is. The fact that, that I know that I can help somebody makes an impact on myself, you know. And I feel like if I can be there with somebody or, or help the patients through their journey, their last days, that I'm fulfilling something, maybe it's a gift that God gave me. I have had a couple of volunteers say they get more out of the visit because they get more from their heart. Um, you know, it goes back to them. It's just simply amazing how much they get out of it themselves. I think because I have Parkinson's, it helps me to help other people. And I've had a lady with Parkinson's and we really related. It has really taught me a lot about myself. It's made me open up more about myself. These people teach me. They help me as much as I help them. Uh, it just gives you, you give you a good feeling when you walk out that door and you know you've made a difference. <laughs>